Hello, and welcome to the watering hole. Thanks for checking out this clip. Don't forget to like and subscribe because that'll make the baby Jesus cry. And I know how much you guys love making the baby Jesus cry. So tweet time. Tweet time. Do we do we do the tweets on tweet tweets? Do we go Sometimes. To the tweets? Every now and again. Every now and again. Starting <laughs> with capturing Christianity. Not the not the thing we're going to talk about. Like I th I'm pretty sure I saved that screenshot as well. Mm -hmm. um, if not, we can still talk about it. But um, he says, "But without God, is murder wrong?" Checkmate atheists. The unironically yep. checkmate atheists. Uh, well, I th I'm pretty sure this is just him engagement baiting. It is. But like that's it why is. I didn't engage with it on Twitter, and I just took a screenshot of it so we can engage with it here. Um, but like, yeah, without God, murder is wrong. And then they're all like, oh, well, how do, what if I say I like murdering? It's like, well, then we can objectively measure. Does that increase the, like overall, does that increase well-being or decrease well-being? Well, you might increase well-being if you murder me because you really don't like me, but like the decrease of well-being on my side greatly outweighs that. So objectively, uh, if our goal is increase well-being, decrease harm, Murder increases harm, so it's wrong. Yeah, all you need God to know murder needed. is wrong is have a set of principles that say that murder is wrong. That's all you need. And technically, that's the only defense you have with the Bible, is that it has a set of principles that ostensibly say that murder is wrong. That's the thing. We're supposed to, like, we're supposed to compare morality to God's nature or whatever. It's like, okay, well... He drowned everyone. The, the way the way we determine God's nature is by what people say about him, because he doesn't just come and clarify for himself. Um, but like, like if we're using the book that is supposed to be the word of God, slavery is OK. Genocide is sometimes OK. Um, miscegenation is wrong. Fucking plant like. Planting crops that like help each other is wrong because you can't plant two different kinds of crops in the same field. That's that's morally wrong, according to Leviticus. But well, crop, well, crop rotation is good. No, 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 not crop rotation. I'm talking about stuff like uh, you plant a nitrogen fixing crop along with a nitrogen heavy crop. So like mm. plant your beans with your corn because beans fix the nitrogen. Corn sucks all the nitrogen up. You get a higher yield out of both if you plant them both together. The Bible says no. Fuck that. Planting different kinds of seeds in the same field. That's wrong. People probably starve to death because of that. Anyway, I got a pee, so you can uh, you can entertain them with this. Do I have to do it while I'm staring at Cameron? Oh god, I have to do it while I'm staring at Cameron. Anyway, hi everybody! Cameron runs a channel called Capturing Christianity, and it uh, has high production values and pretends to be one of the most intellectual Christian shows on the planet. And all it is is just Cameron... What's the best way to put this besides sucking God's dick? I guess we'll just say sucking God's dick. It's just very, very bad. It's very bad argumentation. And anytime I've seen him on Twitter, it is either flagrant engagement baiting or more of that. Ravi says, hi, Dr. Nick. Who's Dr. Nick? I don't know who Dr. Nick is in this specific, specific situation. Sean Hyven says, unless you're a woman in Georgia who happens to find your husband cheating, then technically you're allowed to shoot them in the head with a shotgun. It requires, uh, stated in the actual books, it has to be a shotgun. Weird. Mefren says, Cameron is dumber than a pile of host crackers? Of damp host crackers. Damp host crackers. Oh, okay. Jesus. Man. Dude, um... Dude says, wait, that is one of the more intellectual ones. Wow, I knew it was bad, but for this to be classified as intellectual, damn. I, I said, like, tries to position himself as that. Also, I can tell that I've been up since one in the morning because my body is trying everything in its power to get me to just pass the hell out. And I can't eat anything to try to gain energy because I'm also maxed out on calories for the day. So I just have to function. That's all I have to do. I have to function enough to do topics after Rhino and I are done with tweets. 
Great. Purple Rhymes with Orange says, if you ate a whole box of communion wafers, would that be snack religious? Yes. Yes, it would. Uh, All right, I didn't hear the beginning of that, but I can imagine what it was. If you ate a whole box of communion wafers, would it be snack religious? Yeah. How many calories are in the body of Christ? <laughs> Roughly about 35 per wafer. That many? Let's find out. How fucking thick are those wafers? I th I've, I'm thinking more like 10. It depends on how they are cooked. <laughs> sure. Oh, no, hold oh. on. It says serving size is one piece with zero calories. Oh, yeah, okay. I, I believe that one. <laughs> All right, filled so, with the Holy so this, Spirit. Is, this is a screenshot of the. So remember, Cameron, capturing Christianity, uh, says that he is exposing the intellectual side of Christianity. So naturally, he made a video called The Unexpected Truth about Imane Khalif. With male mm -hmm. or female, he constantly misgenders her throughout the video. Um, I did actually, I did eventually cave and watch it at first. I was like, no, I'm not going to give him the watch time because he doesn't deserve it. Um, but yeah, so I, uh, I watched through it. Basically, he looks at her and is like, oh, she's got broad shoulders and looks kind of masculine. And then he asked chat GPT. We're like, oh. If uh, someone was tested and has XY chromosomes and looks kind of masculine, does that mean she has such and such syndrome? And ChatGPT basically. So ChatGPT said, yes, that is likely. Mm -hmm. And then also had like two paragraphs where it was like, but these generalizations should not be just like applied randomly or whatever. Like you, you can't just make diagnoses based on like based on shit you can see based on shit you can see yeah it basically it essentially called him an idiot but he skipped those things in the video in favor of like oh yeah this like given the information that he provided to chat gpt which was yes she has xy chromosomes she probably has such and such syndrome or whatever um but as we discussed earlier we don't even know what test it was that the that other boxing agency administered. Yeah, um, like it, like you said, it was testosterone. Other people are saying it's it was a chromosome test, but like we don't actually know. That information is not public. We just know that after she beat the Russian boxer, the Russian commissioner of a corrupt organization said, "Hey, she's not qualified because of this test." She didn't pass this test. And so that restored the Russian boxer's undefeated record. That's all we know. We don't even know what the test was. Just that there was one. Just that there was a test. Yep. And that a Russian guy claimed that she failed the test or like it, she was disqualified because of the test after she beat a Russian boxer who at, up to that point was undefeated. And then based on, like, one other boxer said, oh, I've never been hit so hard in my life, suddenly you've got a bunch of right-wing weirdos uh, speculating about her genitals and shit. It's like, no, just, like, fuck off. It's none of your business. None of your goddamn business. It's it's very, very frustrating seeing all of the conversation that has happened about this because it is mostly people who have... No education in any of the conversations that would need yeah. to be had so, for die, this person. Sorry, diehard anime otaku says, uh, I thought her opponent was an Italian boxer. Yes, that was this in the Olympics. Time, the test that everybody's referring to that they're using to say that she's from 2023 male was when she fought against a Russian boxer and the Russian commissioner of that boxing organization after she beat the Russian boxer was like, oh, yeah, no, actually, we're retroactively disqualifying her to restore that Russian boxer's undefeated record. So, like, no, it's sketchy as fuck. And these people are weird for even wanting to dissect this. Like, no, fuck off. Uh, I haven't watched the video. I don't know if I should. No, you shouldn't. There's nothing there's nothing of value there. I watched it so you don't have to. 
Hello, I'm the Capturing Christianity critic. Yep, you are. I was about to say, thanks, Doug. (laughs) All right. Hi, I'm Rhino Walker. (laughs) Declaration of Meme says... You posted this meme. That the this is the left. Maybe I'm an MC, NPC. No, having the same opinions as celebrities and major corporations while repeating every media talking point verbatim is what real people do. Um, I wonder if he realizes okay. that sometimes large groups of people have the same opinions because they're right. So here, here's the thing, though. Like as far as celebrities go, I don't give a fuck what celebrities think. Like, I can't think of a single left-wing celebrity that, like, everybody's falling in line behind, except for maybe Taylor Swift. But even then, her political opinions aren't, like, the primary thing there. It's just, like, be kind to people. Um, Major corporations? Uh, No, we don't have the same opinion as major corporations. Major corporations pretend to have the same opinion as us because that makes makes them money. money. And that's all the corporations fucking care about is making money. So they will yeah. pretend they will like all through June, they will all change their logos to have a pride flag overlaying their thing. And then as soon as but July 1st, not hits, in China, but not in China, uh, not soon in as, China, as soon as July 1st hits, they suddenly switch to 4th of July or whatever. But like they, they will pretend to care about these issues because it is profitable to care about those issues because Everybody cares about those issues except for right wing weirdos. Um, and repeating every media talking point verbatim. I don't know, man. Like I, I consume so little of the mainstream media. Like most of most mainstream media that I consume is like when I see Fox News making a claim, I'll be like, "Oh, that can't be right." So then I will look it up and find that, "Oh, it's not right." Yeah, it turns out that. If something that we say agrees with mainstream media, that is entirely happenstance. It's mm-hmm. not because we listen to a news outlet well, say something also, and said, that's true, so we'll say it. Also, I will again point out that f- this is kind of a depressing fact, but Fox News is the most popular news outlet in the world. So... It doesn't get more mainstream than Fox News. So if I'm going against Fox News, I'm going against the mainstream media. And I'm usually going against yep. Fox, New- Fox News. Although Jessica Tarlov fucking rocks. I don't know how she does the job that she does. Are you familiar with her? I'm not actually. Uh, so she is, she occupies the liberal chair on The Five, which is Fox's like, we pretend to have all the opinions show. Mm-hmm. Um, so they've got four conservatives and Jessica Tarlov. Okay. And she regularly just completely fucking demolishes everybody else that's there when they let her talk. And so they just learn not to let her talk. I mean, sometimes they let they have to let her talk a certain amount, otherwise they can't even put up the appearance of uh, being fair and balanced. So yeah. Yeah. It's meme heavy tonight. Oh Eric Coven posted camera, 24 megapixels, has a creator, Canon. Human eye, 576 me- megapixels, no creator, accident? We've watched eyes get grown well, naturally. So, here's the thing the 576 megapixel number, that's a bit deceptive. That's just basically treating. Like that's that's a calculation that's done based on how many rods and cones people typically have mm-hmm. and treating those as like pixels. But the thing is with the eye, like if you hold your your thumb up out and like at arm's length, um, your thumbnail is about the size of your vision that is in focus at any given moment you can't like nothing else is actually in focus it's all like a little bit blurry and if it looks like it's in focus that's because your brain is doing post-processing to make it look like it's in focus there's also filling in the gaps um i think it's about 15 degrees around the thumb it might be a little bit more than that um but like basically where you are looking is color but your peripheral vision is black and white you can't see color in your perifer- peripheral vision, but it looks like it's color. Why? Because your brain is pros- post-processing that to fill in details that it thinks are there. Now, 
Our brains are pretty good at that, especially in environments that we're familiar with. It, like, I, I already know that my wall over there is brown, so when I'm seeing it over the corner of my eye, my brain just says, yeah, no, I know what that is, so it's brown. Um, but, like, if you are somewhere unfamiliar, it might get those things wrong. Um, it's it's trying to, like, look at patterns and recognize patterns, and, it, like, it, it makes mistakes all the goddamn time. Mm -hmm. Um there's the blind spot as well uh the image is upside down and your brain has to work to like flip it upside right so like no the the can the camera the man-made camera is uh actually way better than the eyes because like a whole image can be in focus and the whole thing will be in color and you don't need to post process it and guess at what the colors might be but on top of that like has a creator canon? Um, no, I'm pretty sure in 1947 when the transistor was invented, they had no idea that transistors would ever be used to take pictures. Nope, they were so just like, made. So like, as, as much as like every step in the process, yes, it did have a designer. It was basically an evolutionary process. Fennec says, I prefer Nikon. I also prefer Nikon. However, Nikon... Unless you go to the like extreme high end, they don't have a clean uh, HDMI output, so I do use a Canon for recording my videos. But like, I have three Nikon DSLRs because I don't know. Like my my kids keep like breaking them, and then like getting a new body is cheaper than just getting a new lens. Oftentimes, mm -hmm. so like that's how I've upgraded my cameras over the years. Because it's cheaper to upgrade it than to repair. Well, no, because like usually it's been like a kit lens that comes with like the cheap lens that comes with the camera. Yeah. And then the kids will like knock it off the table and it falls and the lens breaks, but the body's fine. So like I could just replace the lens or for like $50 more, I could replace the whole camera and it comes with another kit lens. And so like, eh. So like yeah, I do like Nikon better than Canon, but the Canon has the clean DSLR output or uh, clean HDMI output that I need. But yeah, no, um, cameras are objectively better than eyes at processing cameras images. Are, cameras are better than Cameron. Yeah, but this is Eric, not Cameron. I know, but I needed to make a pun. I desperately needed to. Alex is saying it's 10 o'clock because everybody can hear your dog barking. Yeah, she'll have to wait. Okay. So this, I showed you this. This was a, a comment on um, one of the videos from last week where I said that I want to see, um, I want to see a president that's at the youngest possible age. Like mm -hmm. I think it's 34 is the youngest 30, you're allowed to be. 35. So, sure, 35. So it's like, yeah, let's have a 35-year-old president that president. That would be fucking awesome to have someone in office. Like, imagine that. Someone that's in office young enough that they can actually like see the consequences of the of their policies. Like fully played out. That'd be mm. amazing. They'd actually have to consider their own future when they're making policies. That'd be great. Um, apparently that makes me a pedophile. Wanting a 35-year-old president wants makes me a pedophile. Because you don't look too young yourself. I don't, so this was uh, on the thumbnail. I like used Photoshop to make myself look older. So I don't know if they were going by that or not. Because like, so you're asking I'm not for that a much kid. Like, yeah, I am older than 35, but like, I'm 38. That's only three years. That's not that much yet older. If we start considering 35 but, um, years old a uh, kid, I'm I, gonna go shoot myself. So I dated a 28 year old for a bit in between my wife dying and my current partner. Um, mm -hmm. And let's see, I was 37, 36. I don't know. I don't remember. But um, yeah, it was it was not quite a 10 year age gap, but it was close to it. And it was just like, mm, this ain't a permanent relationship because like, no, that's like, no, that's there's there's too much of a culture shock between the two of us. Yeah. Um, and like that, that was that's like, OK, no, that's that's like the limit. I'm not going any younger than that at all. Um, but uh Wanting a president that is three years younger than me, apparently is, uh, so they say, so you're asking a kid, anyone younger than you, 35 isn't a kid. No, um, it's not. Although, ask me when I'm 45, I might change my tune on that. 
Hi. Because like when I was 25, I wouldn't have said that was a kid. But like 25 year olds to me now, like, no, you're a kid. So maybe I will change my tune on this. But uh, yeah, no, 35 year olds isn't a kid. But then he says anyone younger than you to run the largest country on earth in history smells like a grift to get with kids. So, yeah, wanting a 35 year old president makes me a pedophile. Jesus Christ. And this is even just like this was just like hypothetically like like I think the youngest president in history was like 40. I just don't understand this mentality. This feels like what happens when AI tries to generate a toxic commenter. So Jassa says, uh, in what way are we the largest country? Um, I think political influence. Maybe like I, I will grant them largest country because I, I know you're not largest country by population. You're not largest country by landmass, but like U.S. is the most powerful country on the planet at the moment. So I will grant them that in political influence sense. But yeah, Canada's bigger. Just saying we're bigger than you. Yeah, but we have Texas. Yeah, but we're bigger you than can, Texas. You can, you can fit like 12 we have, Canada's we have fucking in Alberta. Texas. Alberta's bigger than Texas. You can fit 12 Canada's in Texas. And you can you fit know 12 that. Texas's in Alberta. So, welcome to the Twilight Zone. <laughs> it's a big Ouroboros, or Ouroboros, Ouroboros, depending I didn't on how realize that both Canada and the United States were effectively bags of holding. Do you know that Ted Cruz is from Alberta? I'm so tired of your fucking people coming and fucking up my politics. I'm so tired I, of this. Hey, Y'all, hey, you least, gave us Steven least, Crowder. Oh, God damn it. At least, you know, <laughs> at least, you know, with 100% certainty that Ted Cruz will never be president. Because he's not eligible. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that wasn't really much comfort knowing that Ken Ham can't be president either, but Australia still gave us him. Or is it New Zealand? Sir, we need to have a conversation about your extended... Oh, this fucker's been everywhere! Yep, yep. Joey Manorino oh my God. says, People do realize that Kamala Harris will abolish the Electoral College, right? It's like, okay, first off, no, she won't because she can't because that would take an act of Congress, but um, that would be great if she would. Uh, but then he says, if that happens, we literally never get another Republican president. Way to admit wow. that Republicans are not popular. Because that's the whole thing with the Electoral College is that you can lose the popular vote, but still have your guy as president. If yep. you need that to be president, then that means you are not what the voters actually want. Because, like, remember, Trump has never won the popular vote. Never. Nope. So. Yeah, she abolishing the Electoral College would be a good thing, I think. Like the yeah. the whole purpose, the whole stated purpose of the Electoral College, so the idea is like, OK, well, the people have selected someone who's clearly an idiot who's not qualified for the job. So the electors who are more qualified in theory to choose the president can be like, OK, OK, the populace have said this guy, but like we can't actually let that guy because he's going to be like he's going to turn into an autocrat or something. So we'll we will choose the actual like good candidate, even though the populace is like that is the hypothetical reason for it. The that fact that never Trump, happens. The fact that Trump <laughs> became president definitively proved that the Electoral College is not capable of fulfilling that duty or Trump would have never been president because that yep. that's the quintessential example of like. Why, like a, a situation when the Electoral College should have stepped in and been like, no, we are not going with this megalomaniacal, narcissistic asshole who is clearly just in it for his own personal gain. No, obviously not. Yeah. So, yeah. And this is this is one of those things where, like, when more people vote, the Democrats always win because the Democrats mm -hmm. have positions that are more in line with the American public. There's this, more of us. Yet this always. Is, this is the Republicans admitting that they need to cheat to win. Oh, this this one was great. Okay. Before we read this one, um, the person that said it 
in a tweet before it that wasn't really interesting enough to uh, clip for the show. Um, he claimed to be a uh, university-educated geneticist. Okay. Keep, keep that in mind while we read this tweet, which I almost missed it. This one got in right under the wire. I saw it right before we went live and was like, oh, I have to clip that. MD Jsoft says, all women who have had sexual intercourse have XY cells distributed throughout their body as sperm acts like stem cell when not fertilizing eggs. What? Men, men get hair on their tummy from ejaculating there often. What? The, what? Cum the cummies on my tummies make me grow hair there. I don't understand. Biology is amazing. The chromosomes of the sexually reproductive system is what determines sex, not the body. So, if you, the reason you have belly hair is because you cummy on your tummy. Uh... Why are people he says like he, he this? Claims, he claims to be a fucking geneticist. This has got to be AI. This can't be a real person. I don't know. I don't know. This was in response to Katie Montgomery, who is fucking amazing. If you don't follow her, I highly recommend it. She's great. Uh -huh. um, but like, yeah. No, so this makes me wonder, like... Do do all porn actresses need to like shave their faces because cum makes hair grow? So they're getting facials all the time. Is Wait, that why does they... that mean if you accidentally get it in the eye, okay. you grow oh. hair on your eyeball? That's how they get long eyelashes. <laughs> that it's not fake eyelashes. They just get the cum shots. <laughs> Spread it around your eyelids, babe. You need. I mean, it. the downside is you got to shave your forehead now, but. <laughs> The oh, things God. you do. Oh. Jassa says, what is my beard and chest hair? Um, Jassa, no. are, aren't you? Uh, I, I seem to recall you being bisexual. Oh, my partner says that's when she sits on your face. But I seem to recall <laughs> Jassa is some flavor of LGBTQ. You're just sitting oh, Jess, there with us. Just as hetero. Okay, I'm wrong. I'm You're sorry. You're just sitting there going, "I I need the facial hair. I've got to grow it." So you've got your you have your thing erect in your hand, and you've taped a straw to it. This is no. This is how we get trans. <laughs> this is we 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 don't need HRT for trans men. They just need to take a bunch we of cum shots to the face spreads, so they can grow the beard. Just spread semen on his face. It's it's <laughs> it's so gender. Oh this, my god. This is so stupid. It's so fucking stupid. And I love it. I love this, every I love every sentence that this person for, wrote. For some reason this is reminding me of one of the the dumbest things I've said to Saki in jest, but it's come up more than once because it's very stupid. But see so you know how I'm in the South, right? And everybody here is mm -hmm. Very fake, polite, but there's a lot of misogyny here. Yeah, no, no, I, I am aware that I've offered my basement bedroom to you as a place of refuge should <laughs> Trump be elected. So I, uh, I I made the comment as like, hun, I hope you know down here misogyny is trans affirming. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it is. It's, there's, it's a, there's a whole account on Twitter. Is. There is a whole account on Twitter that is accidentally or like accidental ally or something like that. Mm -hmm. There's like anti-trans people that like horseshoe their way around to becoming pro-trans accidentally. Oh, like when like when Andrew Tate did the whole would you want to fuck Megan Fox with a dick or Hulk Hogan with a vagina? Megan Fox with a dick. He he literally the best thing he said during that was you could just scoot it. You just scoot it. Scoot just it. Scoot it to the side. The dick? Yes. Okay. It's it's literally not necessary, but you know. I don't know. As as someone who is very inexperienced with that, but has recently had some experience with that, I'm like no, no, Megan Fox with the dick, obviously. Jesus. And that's like I mean part of that is um Hulk Hogan is just like personality wise, <laughs> that's a no. Well, yeah, especially after recent um, events. Yeah. Yeah. 
Hulk Hogan at the RNC made me want to vomit a little. Yeah, Hulk Hogan makes me want to vomit a little. Anyways, like, you, you, like, uh, just just read his fucking Wikipedia page. There's a lot going wrong with yep. him. Reality not fiction says I have identify as a Tesla on my truck. It's like it's the one joke they have. It is one joke. Not only is it the one joke. But it's really bad because you don't want your truck being a Tesla truck. Yeah. I identify as a cyber truck. Man, it is 2024. I can't make the joke that immediately came to mind about that. Um, yeah, well, so here's the thing, like the cyber truck is actually like purely <laughs> spec wise and like what it is capable of doing it's not that far off from other electric trucks. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, it, um, I don't know. You, this is my anti-truck bigotry coming in where trucks are just dumb. And especially like, so I, I know I was started this with the cyber truck, but if you take that, uh, extend it to like the Ford F-150 lightning or whatever, like all these trucks that have the frunk, like, oh, it's a big empty space in the front where you can, like, store stuff or whatever. It's like, you could have used that space to, like, increase visibility so you can see children in front of you while you're driving. But no, we have to make it look like a truck, even though that objectively will kill kids. Why? The whole point of a truck is you got the big massive bed in the back for storage. Why do you need a frunk as well? Like, no, put a window there so you can see the kid that's in front of you. And then, like, and, and they'll say like, oh, well, no, we got like the sensors and whatnot that'll beep or whatever in the emergency braking system. We're like, yeah, no, those systems, I don't fucking trust those systems. Like, okay. You've seen the videos of the guys that have used, that have, that have been messing with those Tesla systems by trying to test if they will try to chop off fingers. Yeah, where they'll be like, I have. Let's put it. Let's put a and carrot it here. It, and it's, it's, it'll squish watermelons. It'll chop off carrots. People have put their yep. actual hands in there, and it draws blood. And it just like keeps on going down. It's like no, no, no. Um, but even not uh, like I'm talking about like the emergency braking systems. Like, I, so um, my car, love my mm -hmm. car. It's fucking great. Um, it's got a heads up display. Ask me a year ago what I thought about heads up displays in cars, and I'd say, oh, that's just some gimmick. Whatever, don't need it. Who cares? Mm -hmm. It fucking rocks. I fucking love the heads up display in this thing. Like it, it's um, it's like so it tells you what speed you're going. It tells mm -hmm. you what the speed limit is. It gives you like whatever direction. Like if you have the GPS on, it'll tell you the next directions on like so you can without taking your eyes off the road, you can see where your next turn is and shit. Mm -hmm. It's fucking great. I love it. Um, it's also got blind spot detection where like it you can see if there's a car beside you. Yeah, that's all the always, that's all the features. Always fucking look. You know why? Because these systems are not perfect. They fuck up all the damn time. That includes mm -hmm. the ones on the front of these trucks. That they could have put a window there, but no, they put a frunk there. Um because like it, if it's raining out, sometimes it'll see something in your blind spot that's not there. Sometimes mm -hmm. it'll not see something in your blind spot that is there. So like, yeah, it's nice that on my heads up display, there's a little indicator saying like, oh, there's a car beside you right now. So don't start changing lanes. But I always look because it's not perfect. Sometimes it's wrong. I have seen it be wrong. So like, why? Why do these, you know, like, especially with the electric trucks, why does an electric truck need to have this big, massive grill on the front? Because you got to make it look cool. Because you got a small dick and you need to compensate for it. Like, no, it's fuck to make off it with look that cool. noise. No, it doesn't look cool, though. Like, it's, ah, uh, uh, you're an asshole. Like, I'm saying this to someone like, I, I love this technology. I love, I love my goddamn car and all the stupid things that it can do that I can do myself. But it's fine. And it, like, I can do myself fine. There's no trouble. But like, my car will do it for me. I love it. But like, y you don't trust these systems when it comes to safety. Like, it's, nope. it's a nice to have where like, oh, if, if the light is illuminated saying that there's a car in my blind spot, I'm not just going to put my signal on. I'm going to look first and verify that it's actually right. That's great. 
but like you don't trust it when it comes like I do not have implicit trust for these systems. Yeah, technology will always be a supplement yeah. to human senses and human sensibility. Mm -hmm. To use it as a full replacement always runs into some kind of problem. Always. <laughs> Sir Uncle Ned just arrived and read the tweet. Yeah, go go back a little. We talked. We're done talking about the tweet. We're back to we're, uh, we're on to bashing Tesla, but not even not even Tesla, just trucks in general, and the. Complete idiocy that is modern truck design. It's stupid. It's fucking stupid. Whatever. We went into more detail on truck stuff last week. So we can have... Yeah. Oh, no, that was... Uh, did I accidentally go back to that one? Because, yeah, there was this one that sparked that discussion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, this one's fun. So this, this, this is not the tweet that I'm responding to, but, uh, so Tyler Jordan, I guess, is affiliated with this company, Realtree. I don't know if he owns it or if he's just one of the higher ups or whatever, but, um, I guess the Harris Waltz campaign got this like camo hat or whatever going on. And that's just like a generic print that they got from this mm -hmm. Realtree company. And so Realtree was like, oh, we didn't actually know that they were going to buy it for their campaign and we don't actually support them. Like, okay, fine, whatever. You're allowed to do that. Um, so this person said, you should stop that license. That's a horrible look to which the real tree guy said, Trump buys from them too. He did in 2020. Anybody can go buy blank camo hat shirts a little bit out of our controls. The license, he didn't know what they were being used for either to which Dayton sailing replied. So we just need to buy them and burn them. Go sure. for it. Go for it. Buy them. Cause you know what? The Harris Waltz campaign, they're not selling them because they want people. They want people people to be seen wearing those hats. They're selling them for fundraising. So once you buy them, they don't give a fuck whether you burn them or wear them. They have your money. Go ahead. Mortgage, like when people got mortgage your house, remortgage your house to buy as many of those hats as you can, then just burn them. Go for it. I'm it's here like for when, it. It's like when people got really stupid about Keurig machines. Yep. And not, only did they, shoes. <laughs> not only did they get rid of their cure eggs, they started buying cure eggs to break the cure eggs, just meaning that there was a lot yeah. of money going to cure egg. And then, and then because nobody's really paying attention after you've done the thing, you're like, you know what? I actually kind of liked that coffee maker, so I can just go buy a new one to replace the one that I destroyed for the views. And nobody's going to know because mm, now you've got a cure egg. Like, the thing that I went viral for is smashing it into my driveway. There's no shot of my kitchen in there. Nobody's going to ask me for updated shots of my kitchen to make sure I didn't go replace it. So, yeah, I went and replaced it. So, like, yeah, that, that's that's actually, like, the new marketing strategy. Whereas, like, in the 90s, it was make a bizarre advertisement so that people would remember it. But now mm -hmm. all the ads are so bizarre that it, I don't remember the bizarre ones. Like... Uh, my partner and I, when we went to the movies, this, like we don't see ads normally. I've got YouTube Premium and all of our streaming services we have at non-ad things. Actually, Amazon Prime started doing ads not too long ago, and that was so fucking uh, it, like it was just an experience for like um, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just like I'm I'm so used to not ads that like seeing an ad in the middle of has been a hotel is just like what the fuck is happening what yeah what is it like so we were so distracted by our not understanding what an ad even was anymore that like none of the ads registered but like all of the ads before deadpool and wolverine when we were there like all of them were just like what the fuck even is this like the thing that the ad is trying to do to get your attention has nothing to do with the product what even is and i don't remember what any of the fucking products were it's like everything was so bizarre nothing stood out the only thing that stood out was the Ozempic ad. And yet she just popped in to make sure that I mentioned it because what happened was like, they were just like doing this ad with like these happy people talking about how happy they were. And she just like leaned over and be like, try Ozempic. And neither of us had seen this ad before. Like we said, we have no ads in our life or whatever, but it was an Ozempic ad. So like she just burst out laughing in this theater full of people that were like absolutely silent at that point. Everybody's like looking at us being like, what the fuck is going on up there? Because she called that it was an Ozempic ad when we had no idea. 
and it was fucking it, it was fucking hilarious like that was one of the best parts of the movie was her nailing the fact that it was an Ozempic ad <laughs> um but uh yeah no like all of the ads were bizarre and we remember none of them so that was the 90s advertisements is make yourself bizarre so you stand out but now it is piss off the transphobes or the anti-LGBTQ bigots and they will mm -hmm. do the advertising for you. They will do the viral marketing for you. And on top of that, like they'll buy stuff to burn, but the ones that already had it will then go out and buy stuff to replace the stuff that they burned. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so companies it's... are doing it on purpose now. So it's like back to the we're all NPCs because we have the same opinions as corporations. It's like, no, corporations have realized that they piss you guys off. You guys go burn your shit and then you go buy new shit. It makes them so oh, so long as dollars are leaving your hand, they don't care. Mm -hmm. They don't really care. I forget which there was a game that released at some point and a whole bunch of people did get mad about it. And one of the uh, one of the game devs or one of the people who was in charge of marketing, I don't remember which one, uh, mentioned how like right wing bigots got angry about their game and they were they were excited about that. They were like, you mean you mean we we're going to get free, we get all this advertising? free marketing? Oh my god, yes! So they started like actually stoking the flames yep. a little bit on Absolutely. it. Absolutely. To get more money. Yeah, if you get one million moms to start a petition against you, you got it made. Yeah, that's that's one million. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's 4,000. It's, like it's, like, it's like 4,000. It's a few thousand eyes. One million moms. That's four, they have 4,000 followers, but like there's always news articles about like, hey, this group called One Million Moms just made a stink about this thing. And there, there's more than one TV show that I've, I have watched specifically because I heard about it through One Million Moms. Uh, the New DuckTales is the prime example of that. New DuckTales is really good. It is really good. And One Million Moms put up a stink because there was a gay couple in it for like two seconds. And I was so disappointed at how little gay representation was in it. Um, but what really tickled my fancy with that is that like in the same season that the gay couple showed up on screen for like two seconds, um, they also had Donald Duck in a trans mermaid tale, a trans colored mermaid tale. And one million moms completely missed that. They did not say a word about that. Um, and, and that actually caused me to look into it and not quite canonically, but like, only like one step removed from canonically, Donald Duck is trans. Because like Della Duck is his twin sister. They say that they are identical twins. Identical twins have the exact same genome. So they have to have the same genes, genetic makeup. But Donald's a guy. There are cartoons where Donald Duck lays eggs. Male ducks don't lay eggs. Jeez. Donald Duck is trans. So, yeah. Fair enough. Anyway, okay, that was it for the tweets. That's why he's been able to keep a, a girlfriend for as long as he has. He knows everything she's going to like. Yes. I don't know, I feel like that's a bit reductionist. Oh, I meant sexually. Oh, uh, okay. I was thinking more than just sex. Despite despite appearances, I do. <laughs> despite I do think, appearances, <laughs> I'm not. You're I'm just not all about the sex. I mean, my partner and I did have a long disagreement about the morality of uh, paying rent via sex today. I mean, there's a bunch of porns about it. Yeah, I know. It's it's, it's one of those things where um and. Neither of us were really solid on our positions, I think, but like it's it's one of those like, yeah, there's this power imbalance, but like there's also an empowerment to it. There's also a power imbalance in everything. Yeah. You sell then, you sell your she, body for labor to a to a but then she was, corporation. She also like she pointed out to me is like, okay, well, would you be willing to like pay rent by like with sex? Even if there was a power imbalance, I'm like, yeah, you know, if it happened to me, I would probably be absolutely 100% okay with that. And it's like, so why would you take that autonomy away from other people? I'm like, you're not wrong. Yeah. But it still feels icky. <laughs> oh, it certainly feels icky. And, 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 and then you meet somebody who's into that. 
and and then the conversation gets even weirder. Well, I mean, this all stemmed from a joke about me being her sugar daddy. And then we joke that like, oh, she pays rent on her back. Ha 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 ha. My it's God. Like, but what if she really did? Like, what? Like, is would that be problematic? Yes, but also, like, yes, but no. Yeah, it's one of those weird things. And we had a bit of a disagreement. And this, this is one of those things where, like, we had a conversation about it, and it was just like, I love disagreeing with her. <laughs> it's like it, you just like, I don't know. You 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 learn to think about things in ways that you didn't necessarily think about them before when you have a disagreement with someone, especially someone that you care deeply about, because like. I know that she's not entering into, like, she doesn't have the opinions that she holds lightly. So, like, mm -hmm. if she has an opinion that I disagree with, she's got good reason for it. She's not an idiot. She's a very smart person. So, like, let's have a conversation about it. And it's great. Anyway. So, yeah, I guess I should let you go to sleep now. I mean, I'm still going to have to do more topics. Okay. But, well. Yeah. I'll let you be done with me.